Today's topic is how to be a great leader in disruptive times. So let's get ready to roar. When it comes to your life and your health, are you in charge? Or do you feel like uncertainty and stress took away your work-life balance and health and fitness routine? Let me know. Do you wake up operating fully like Rolls Royce or do you feel tired, stressed and ready for coffee? Or do you know you can do better as a leader in the way you look, move, act and the way you feel? A Rolls Royce Phantom is handmade and requires precision, detail and design. Your life, your body and health needs to be custom designed too. Running company takes unstoppable stamina, strength, and energy. When you're a fit leader, you rule like a lion. I'm Lisa G and each week I'm bringing you tips, giving you the edge in high performance, mindset, weight loss, and fitness. To be an effective leader, you must lead yourself first. Leadership is all about performance. Let me know if you're here live or catching me on the replay and where you're tuning in from. I'm in Santa Monica. We've all been in the midst of a setback at some point during the last two years. Now is the time as a leader to turn a setback into a set up for something greater. It's time to bounce back better and roar like a lion. Here are five reasons you need to be fit to rule in disruptive times and how to get started. Number one. The first reason you need to be fit and healthy to lead a company is increased energy. The connection between fitness and leadership goes back to when fit to lead meant that a person was physically fit enough to lead a community. Running a company takes a lot of energy. Look at fit CEOs like Tim Cook, Mark Zuckerberg, and Jack Dorsey. While you may be able to come up with impressive, impressive excuses to not work out every morning or blame it on lack of time, they fight back the hands of time and make sure they remain fit. As a great leader, you understand that you need to be operating at your best. You must optimize your physical and mental fitness. Fitness has been proven to increase energy and productivity. This helps you face the challenges that we're all facing with confidence. Number two, the second reason you need to be fit to lead a company is fitness increases cognitive ability. Studies prove that even moderate levels of exercise increases cognitive ability and will help you make better decisions and come up with creative business strategies in disruptive times. Being physically fit increases mental stamina and endurance, which makes you an effective leader in times of uncertainty. And number three, the third reason you need to be fit to lead a company is fitness increases resilience to stress. Being fit helps you to perform under stress and increases resilience in the new normal. When you're feeling stressed in uncertain times, fitness gives you a push to keep going. By gradually increasing the intensity of the cardio you're doing or the weights you're lifting, you push yourself outside of your comfort zone and by pushing your limits, you'll build your resilience muscles. 
At number four, the fourth reason you need to be fit as a leader is to lead by example. As a healthy, disciplined leader, you inspire your team to be healthy and more energetic. This increases your overall productivity of your company. Your team is more likely to be disciplined and less likely to get sick, which decreases your health care costs. And the fifth reason is physical fitness will increase your performance and success. Being fit to lead is actually integral to success. So how do you keep yourself fit and healthy? You probably already know the answer to that. Drink more water, eat healthier food, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep. This week's challenge is to take action. For the next month, pick one new habit you'll commit to doing to improve your physical fitness and make it something you can easily integrate into your life. For example, you can decide to go to bed 30 minutes earlier every night or bring a healthier lunch to work rather than eating takeout or order ordering in or take the stairs rather than the elevator and just park further away from your destination to get in extra steps. I challenge you to take this new action every day for one month. Let me know if you're in. Pay attention to the difference it makes in your performance and how you feel. At the end of the month, pick another new habit to commit to doing. And stacking that on top of the last one is called habit stacking. Remember, success is less about luck and more about practice. I'm Lisa G reminding you that greatness isn't born. You can build it. High performance can be created. Fit executives are effective and successful executives. For more information on being a high performer in all areas of your life, message me on social media. And thanks for coming. I will see you soon.